All right, hey Scorpio, so I am doing the torn between two spread. So person number one, we're using the Pagan Tarot. So these have been pre-shuffled. Just gonna give it a couple more and then get the layout. All right. All right, so person number one, lover number one, what they represent to you. We have the Queen of Wands coming out. So this right here, um, this is somebody who is inspiring. This person's full of passion. This person has other energies around them, um, could have other energies, um, but it's almost like, it's like a, you got the win. When it comes to this person, it's like, this person could have anybody what they want, but they picked me. That's the energy I'm getting from this um, uh, from this person, Scorpio. Okay, I feel like right here, it's like you you feel like when, you know. Um, I feel like this person is very passionate, and I feel like you, um, you um, are really, like, enamored by them, right? Um, you really like what they have. You really like what you see when it comes to them. Um, what can you get out of this relationship with person number one? We have the Ace of Pentacles coming out. So this is a new beginning. This is abundance. This is wealth. This is a, a material. It's like this is a material um, um, good start, right, for you and this person. Like this is where you see yourself having it all, right? Um, this person, it's like they got their shit going on and, and you know it and it's like other people see it, right? Other people see it, you see it and it's like I get to be with this person. Um, however, we are dealing with two so it doesn't stop right there. Um, the problems that can arise from this um, situation, we have the magician. All right, and I feel like with this card coming out, this is a... It's almost like being placed underneath the Ace of Pentacles. It's like a, it's like the potential for this foundation is here, but it's almost like you guys, um, this person has a, or you guys as a team, or this person has trouble getting the, um, the, the aspect, the goal off the ground. Okay. When it comes to certain um, areas of the material, um, situation. Okay, what I feel like, um, too, is that um, because the magician comes out in the problems, is that um, like the material manifestation, it could be harder than what it actually, it, it could be harder than one, than um, how one of you see it, all right, or somebody's making it harder um, than what it is, okay? Um, it could be, too, that you don't see yourself with this person because of their lack of material. It's like their, uh, their energy. Um, when it comes to um, being an adult, all right, let me say it like that. Um, it, it, let me say it like this. Okay. It's like this person is very passionate. They're very good looking, but it's almost like they lack um, in, in the areas of life that are important, all right, which is, you know, well, you got to have a place to live. You got to have a car. You got to have this. It's like almost <laughs> to backtrack, I guess. I almost feel like it's like if you want to date this person, um, like, um, it's like, if you want to see this person, it's almost like they're lacking. Like, um, I feel like there's a, I can't even say it. It's like, I feel like almost kind of like, you know, before I pulled the magician card, it's like, you see this happening, you could see it happening, but then in the problems that come, that arise, it's like, how motivated is this person to strive for that? Okay. I guess that is one way to put it okay um the general advice regarding this person we have the two of cups and i feel like um this right here is it's um in, in reading the book and further clarifying um my knowledge of these it's it, this is too is about manifestation it's like this person right here is looking in the mirror and seeing who they want to be toasting to who i'm going to be okay um, I feel like this person right here might have a little, a little trouble 
envisioning the future, seeing the future, going for the future, being um, inspired by the future. Okay. It's like, I almost feel like this person is, um, they are wands energy. Like they're good looking. They have people around them, blah, blah, blah. They can get anybody they want, but it's almost like that's where it starts and stops. It's like, it's not all about looks. It's like, almost like, I almost feel like saying your looks are not going to get you everywhere in life. Okay, um, I don't know why that feels so prominent in this reading, but I almost feel like with the energy number one, it's like this person don't need to do any work because they're good looking is how I feel. Um, and for you, Scorpio, it's like uh, there's a reason why um, another energy has uh, um, infiltrated <laughs> to your, your space, your energy, right? All right, so let's see what's going on with person number two. This isn't going to be for everybody, obviously. <laughs> it's feeling pretty specific. All right. So person number um, two and what they represent, we have the four of cups coming out. So the Four of Cups is about somebody that has come in and I feel like they've made you an offer, okay? Um, person number two, I almost feel like you might have talked to person number two about person number one. I feel like person number one's been here longer, all right? But I feel like person number two comes in and they're like, well, I can give you that. I can give you what you're um, lacking from this person is almost how I'm feeling um, about that. So what can you get out of um, person number two? We got the two of cups coming out. Okay. Um, and this right here, um, what can you get out of this? This is like, a, this is communication. This is talking about, it's, it's talking about things, manifesting things, making stuff happen. It's also um, a soulmate card. All right. So what can you get out of this? I feel like the, the connection um, is just a lot more deeper and intense when it comes to this person. I do feel like person number two is the newer energy, um, but I feel like you, you're you already feeling um, more connected and more driven to be with this person over here. Um, the problems that can arise out of this relationship, um, we have justice coming out. Um, I Okay, so with justice, I feel like this card right here is about um, somebody's, um, it could be about your spiritual team working with you on whatever you're going through. Okay. This is also has to do with karma and it's also has to do with awakening. All right. And I feel like, um, the problems that can arise from this relationship is, um, you, I feel like feeling really pulled as to what you want to do. And you know what? I, I got to tell you, um, I feel like this is an advice card for you, Scorpio, on how you handle person number one or two. All right, because I already feel like you're you're feeling pulled to go with energy number um, two. Okay, but with the justice card coming out, I feel like um, for some of you, if you do not handle the situation right with person number one, because they deserve to be handled right, it's like just pay attention to that because um, you don't want to uh, create negative karma um, when it comes to the situation right here. Um, I feel like your team is saying um, just be careful on how you go about either releasing the energy over here or um, ending it, okay? And also how you deal with it after the fact if if you're going to go through with ending it. But also too, it's like with that justice card coming out, it's like don't string these energies along too. Don't string them along too long um, because that too can be a problem that you're going to have to deal with. So the general advice regarding person number two, we have the queen of swords. So I almost feel like with this card coming out, the queen of swords energy, that's about um, uh, honest, direct communication, right? I feel like with the queen of swords energy coming out, this is saying um, you, uh, it's like you, I almost feel like you might need to tell person number two that y'all need a little break while you go handle this situation. Because I do feel like the energy is leaning towards person number two at this point. All right. Um, I do. So I'm going to do a shuffle over here. All right. Um, 
So for person number one, how do you see yourself in person number one? Um, we have the devil card coming out with the uh, queen of wands. All right. And I almost feel like this is how you are feeling. Your energy is um, you feel bad. All right. I do feel like you feel bad that you have um, let somebody kind of infiltrate your energy. Um, but it's also to like um, how, how you see how you're seeing yourself in this person. It's like uh, um, you could see this person as a codependent energy right the devil with the queen of wands it's like this person um it, it too it could feel like you feel used by this person um, i don't feel like that is their energy but i almost feel like you feel like it is their energy um because they don't have i, I feel like the material abundance with this person is not there and i almost feel like you you could feel like you are potentially getting used with person number one um the advice when it comes to you in person number one mm -hmm. look at Nine of Wands coming out. This right here, it's like, look at with the Ace of Pentacles too. Okay, look at the energy on this. It's like this person's car is getting towed. Like, it's not a wreck. It's like, it's like a, what the hell is going on there? Okay. Yeah, it's like this person's car is getting towed. It's like there's financial, um, like ruin going on all around them. It's like their life. I almost feel like Scorpio, this person's life is a, a fucking mess. When it comes to the financial aspects, it's like, it's one thing to be good looking, but I almost feel like your energy, I feel like you're spent because this, this is like a, um, I feel like this person has just problem after problem after problem. Um, the near future when it comes to this person. Yeah. I look at the four of pentacles with the magician. Um, it's like, how, how can I, it, it's like, I almost feel like you feel like you're, you're being used with this person when it comes to money. I do. It's like almost like you're trying to manifest your, your way out of the situation, Scorpio. Um, yeah, it's like you, it's like you, it's, it's like almost like, it's like this person, they're attractive. Yeah, but it's like almost, I feel like they've killed the attraction uh, for you. It's like they've killed it for you because of their, um, it's like, uh, I almost feel like this person's like, well, you, you don't die with money. You don't get to take it, but it's like, but you don't have any anyway. And I'm paying your bills. That's how I feel about person number one. I don't know why I am feeling so strongly about that. But uh, um, the outcome, all right, for you and person number one, we have um, the emperor that comes out, okay, with the two of cups in this person, right? Um, it's almost like this person, they're not manifesting anything greater than what they have. And I feel like with the emperor coming out as the outcome, it's like you, you know how to manifest what you want. You see a bigger goal at hand and you're, and you're going for it. And it's almost like you're carrying this person around. Um, but I feel like what your team is saying is you need to come back into your own energy and um, you, you need to do what's right for you, but it's also about doing it in the right way. Okay. Um, like just and even if this person is like I, I feel like they're a little bit self-centered um don't let that um stop you from doing the right thing and ending it in the correct way because you don't want to create no bad karma all right even if you're feeling negatively towards this person it's like you still you want to um you want to envelop the, the good karma that comes with even ending a situation i feel like your team is saying you already know what to do the emperor um it's like a, almost like you've forgotten how to reach out for help um, or advice when it comes to this. And I almost feel like telling you um, to, um, I'm sure that you've talked to some of your friends, but I, there's got to be a person that you can go to um, to reach out on how to handle the situation, right? So for person number two, how do you see yourself and this person? We have the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. Look at, they just line up. It's like, boom. You're walking away from energy number one to come to energy number two because they've made an offer to you. And it's it's more solidifying, I feel like, right? Um, that's how you're feeling about it. The advice. Mm -hmm. It's like, almost like you're coming out of the tower moment. It's like a, I feel like you've been with this energy a lot, but it's like um, when you meet this person or if you're, I mean, you've already met them, sorry. Um, but it's like 
you're so done with this situation over here that there's no there i feel like it's a there's no repair like the tower moments are fixable moments it's like you've already experienced the tower with this person um so when you come in it's like there's not a lot that you got to do to um repair it's just how you handle the situation okay when it comes to um person number one it's like person number two um hope if they're if they're in the energy where the, they're like concerned about being a rebound or anything i feel like um you're good to tell them that you're not because i feel like you've been done with this situation for a long time it's more so that you you're now staying here just because you feel bad for leaving because nobody has actually came in and uh um caught your sights or told you that you deserve better than that you know what i mean um the near future look at we have the hierophant coming out with justice Mm -hmm. I feel like this card is coming out because, um, you know, futuristically speaking, your team sees how you're going to handle all this situation with person number one. This is about peace and love to you. I feel like too, your team is saying because you are handling this situation so well that your, your karma is like, you're going to be with somebody you deserve to be with. And it's person number two. All right. You got the soulmate card coming out, you know? You got the two of cups. You got the um, justice card coming out. You have your own energy coming out, and this is um, the tower moment coming out in reverse, Scorpio. This is this is a um, this is a new way of approaching the situation. All right, um, this is probably how you, like before. It's like I almost feel like you would have just bounced on this person, but I feel like with justice, it's like your team is saying, uh, build up the good karma. Okay, build it up treat this person or end this how you would want it to be ended with you know it's like yeah and i almost feel like too it's like even after you talk to this person they're still going to be like but why like i don't know i i don't know why i feel like that it's like i almost feel like this person's not going to be upset if you um leave them i almost feel like they're like the, they're the, a good looking person and it's like but that's really all they bank on for some reason scorpio um the outcome look at so remember how i was telling you to go and tell this person da, da 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 it's like the outcome is the nine of swords in reverse okay um this is like yeah this is um treading lightly on the situation all right but you're not going to be in this energy where it's too painful to actually have to end something with this person okay um i feel like you're almost afraid to approach this person and tell them because you're afraid of hurting their feelings or something but I almost, I almost kind of feel like this person number one is like robotic or something. Um, not really, you know, but I feel like they're not going to get their feelings hurt as you, you think they are. Um, and I, I feel like too, with the nine of swords coming out, it's almost, I feel like you are afraid that karma is going to come back in a negative way to get you, um, for almost like putting this person in third party but it's not i don't feel like you slept with this person i don't feel like you've done anything wrong you've just met somebody new that's kind of opened your eyes to what's going on right here okay and i just got to tell you don't be um don't be scared of of uh doing what you have to do um to make yourself happy scorpio because i feel like you've put off your um i feel like you've put off your own happiness for a little bit to um to, to satisfy this energy and that's wrong too you got to make yourself happy guys so um, i know that this is not going to hit on everybody who's in this uh two-party situ or three-party situation um but i'm going to try to put these out weekly if not every other week guys so hopefully um hopefully somebody's resonating with this that's all i can say bye guys